In this video, we will demonstrate regional anesthesia techniques as an adjunct for open abdominal aortic surgery. For this patient, the choice is made to perform bilateral tap blocks, transverse abdominus plane blocks, as well as bilateral rectus sheath blocks. As you can see here, the probe is positioned between the top of the iliac crest and the costal margin. The probe was moved laterally until the three layers of the abdominal wall were identified. The external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transverse abdominus muscle. The needle was advanced in an in-plane approach until the fascial plane between the internal oblique and transverse abdominus muscle were obtained. Hydroid dissection was performed with normal saline. Once appropriate position was found, the local anesthetic was then administered. The patient's total body weight was considered when deciding on the appropriate dose of local anesthetic to be utilized for these blocks. 20 milliliters of 0.25% bupivacaine with 2 milligrams of preservative-free decadron was then administered. This was done in 5 milliliter aliquots. Negative aspiration performed in between each 5 milliliters to ensure negative aspiration and no inadvertent intravenous injection. As you can see, with administration of local anesthetic that spreads in the fascial plane beyond the edges of the ultrasound screen. This was repeated on the contralateral side. Here, the three layers of the abdominal wall are again identified. And the system was able to provide traction on the skin to facilitate needle placement. Once appropriate visualization was obtained, the skin was prepped with chlorhexidine. And the needle once again placed with an in-plane approach. The needle passed through the external oblique, then the internal oblique, to again reach the fascial plane between the internal oblique muscle and the transverse abdominus muscle. Once position was seen to be appropriate, hydrodissection was performed with normal saline. At this point, confirmed easy low pressure injection and the local anesthetic was then administered again with negative aspiration between each five milliliters of local anesthetic administration. The choice for this block was the ease of placement of the tap block. Additionally, quadratus lumborum blocks could be performed or even erector spinae blocks. The benefit of this type of block is it can be done in just a few minutes after induction of general anesthesia for patient comfort. Again, 20 milliliters of 0.25% bupivacaine with two milligrams of preservative free decadron was administered. Attention was then turned to performing bilateral rectus sheath blocks. Ultrasound depth was then adjusted to be able to easily identify the rectus muscle underneath the adipose tissue. Again, an in-plane approach was taken to have consistent visualization of the needle and ensure appropriate deposition of the local anesthetic.
Again, the needle is advanced. Just the edge, but before reaching the fascial space underneath the rectus abdominis muscle. And 10 milliliters of 0.25% bupivacaine with, again, 2 milligrams of preservative free decadron was administered. Negative aspiration again performed between each of the 5 milliliters of local anesthetic. The choice for these blocks was to help facilitate pain control for the ventral midline incision that would soon be coming. This was repeated on the other side. Again, the needle advanced in plane through the rectus muscle just before exiting the fascial plane on the opposite side. Once an appropriate position was obtained, a constant visualization of the needle, brief hydrosection was performed with normal saline. And then administration again of local anesthetic. This in combination with appropriate intravenous analgesia, the patient was able to be successfully extubated at completion of the case.